What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be checking out two new products from Razer that are unlike their usual releases. We have the brand new wireless mechanical keyboard known as the Pro Type, as well as their ergonomic wireless mouse, the Pro Click. So these are not for your gaming setup. They're designed with ergonomics in mind for more so the office space or your professional work environment. So again, not your gaming setup. If you want to check them out or know more about it, got you covered in this video. So pretty interesting to see Razer still touch on these peripherals, but with a different audience in mind. And there is a huge market for these type of products, because you take a look at Logitech and what they've done with their MX Master Series, and that's where the ProClick is going to fit in, competing directly with that. And you can tell it's a direct competitor, because it's the same price coming in at $100. So for the Pro Click, once you get it out of the box, my first impression was I'm a really big fan of the simplicity here. It looks really nice and clean, all white. You have some silver accents in the scroll wheel and around the mask itself. And these sides are a rubberized grip that are more of like a matte gray. Built in underneath is the storage door for their 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. So you can connect with that or connect over Bluetooth because you have both those options now. And this connects up to four devices at once for switching between your different devices from a computer, a laptop, your phone, a tablet, anything like that. A real quick and easy way to navigate your workflow if this is connected to multiple devices. And there's a button on the back side which you just press and that will then switch the device for you. So checking it out, like I said, a really clean ergonomic design. On the right and left side, you have this gray rubberized texture, which is gonna be great for obviously in your hand. You do have those side forward and backward buttons. The scroll wheel also has the left and right tilt clicks. So not only does it click in, but you can click it to the left or right side and configure that to be different functions. But underneath that is the DPI button for toggling between different sensitivities. And the sensor inside is the Razer 5G optical sensor, which goes up to 16,000 DPI. The switches are mechanical, not like their optical switches on their gaming lineup, but again, this is not a gaming mouse. The battery inside can last up to 400 hours, so that should definitely get you throughout the work week, plus some. And to charge it does come with an included micro USB cable, and the port is embedded right into the front. Unfortunately, no USB-C fast charging or anything. So besides the great battery life, the four different modes of connectivity, and the eight programmable buttons, the big thing and the main selling point really with a mouse like the ProClick is going to be the design and the ergonomics. Curvy in all the right places. So your hand is naturally, you know, shaped to curve at a 45 degree angle like this, which is how the mouse is, you know, meant to be used. And if you think about it, go like limp zombie arms real quick, all right? Or go Frankenstein mode, whatever. You can see when your hands are completely limp, it does naturally have this curve to your hands and your thumb. And that's going to pretty much fit in perfectly with the design of the mouse. That's the reason it's designed. You can use this for hours and hours on end and not get fatigued or cramped. And again, since the main competitor is pretty much Logitech MX Master 2S and the 3, that's going to have a very similar shape to this. You have that vertical tilt up by your pointer finger, and then it curves in so your thumb can lay down, and there's really going to be no real pressure points or anything on the inside of your palm. Just to kind of visually show you the difference in design between the Viper Ultimate, which is like their gaming mouse, again, Logitech MX Master 2S, and then now the Pro Click, it's very evident to see the design process that went into this. But now we can check out the ProType keyboard. Again, a full layout, wireless and mechanical. And the big thing with this, I know it, for me, my first kind of impression, and as a keyboard enthusiast, I was admittedly hoping this would have been like, you know, a 10 keyless. That's just what I prefer. But again, for the office, for the workspace, people 100% need the numpad, okay? So I understand that with a work environment type keyboard, it would be a full size layout. Makes sense. This is the all white Mercury colorway. When you turn it on, there are embedded white LED lights inside. The keycaps are shine through, so whether it's, you know, on your desktop during the day or at night, you'll still have that slight level of illumination through the shine through keycaps. And just like the mouse, you can either choose to use the integrated uh, wireless dongle to connect via 2.4 gigahertz or Bluetooth. It has them both. And again, up to four devices at once, just that quick and easy way to navigate your workflow on multiple devices. This, however, does have the USB-C port for charging, so that way if it dies, you can use it wired. And for battery life, it's gonna differ depending on whether you have the LED lights on or off. So with Bluetooth and the 2.4 gigahertz, it goes up to 12 hours with the lights on and 84 hours without the lights. So, you know, don't use them if you don't need them. So 84 over Bluetooth and then 78 hours on 2.4 gigahertz with no lights. 
But yeah, it's 2020. I've had no issues with connectivity or anything like that. There's no lag or latency and switching between the different, you know, connectivity modes is pretty much seamless. Now inside, they're actually using their Razer Orange switch, which is their tactile and silent switch variant. It actuates at 45 grams, travels 4.4 millimeters total and actuates at 1.9 millimeters. So again, in the office workspace, you're not going to be really annoying people because it's not going to be that loud and clicky response. It'll be quieter, but you'll still have that tactile feedback while using this. And these orange switches can be compared to the mainstream mechanical brown switches. But also what I appreciate is Razer went ahead and lubed their stabilizers, which proves yet again, they are listening to their community. This will make it so the stabilizers aren't as rattly and loud, which yes, if you're surrounded by people in an office, they're probably going to be able to hear. So good job for applying the lube Razer. We'll do a sound test now of the Pro-Type with their orange switches. So all in all, I think it sound really good. No real complaints on my end, except for the space bar. It didn't sound terrible, but on the right side, it had a fair bit of wobble when I was even just touching it. The wire or the stabilizer wasn't like damaged or anything. It was just a bit wobbly on that side. Another thing I wanted to point out was while you're using this with the LED lights on, yes, it's gonna still give it that nice white clean glow overall. And since the keyboard itself is, you know, white and silver, it's gonna just make it shine even more. But one little visual annoyance I noticed on some of the letters was the outline to the character. It wasn't like etched properly or the ink bled. I don't know, but it looked kind of messy on some of them, but it was slightly bugging me. Again, it's not all characters, just some. Just a, it's a little slight outline. But the lights are still gonna be useful for those who maybe you're working from home, the lights are out, it's late, the kids are asleep, you wanna see what you're typing, and you don't wanna wake them up, so the orange switches also gonna be clutch. Razer also went ahead and released a color matching mini mouse pad for the Pro Click. It's $10. And for the rest of the prices, the Pro Click itself is $100. Again, right in line with the Logitech MX Master release. And then the Pro Type wireless mechanical keyboard is pretty hefty at $140. But again, you know, wireless, mechanical, it's got those. That's a lot of money. So take it or leave it, if you will. But yeah. I wanna hear your guys' thoughts down below. Do you wanna see me do a dedicated review and comparison with the Pro Click to the Logitech MX Master 3, which is the latest release? So, two ergonomic competitors, not for gaming, before you know, productivity and the workspace. I wanna hear your thoughts down below. And I'll also drop all the links to this stuff in the description so you can check it out. But that'll wrap it up for this first look at the Razer Productivity Suite. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.